all right stream uh let's go over ultimate 7.0 patch notes 7.0 patch notes uh starting off with dk increased shield size made the head briefly invincible after deactivating shield all right not really sure how long they mean by uh, briefly but i mean it's making dk leaving shield when people are above not as risky and yeah increased shield size link increased shield size so this seems to be a pretty universal change not really sure why they feel the need to make shield bigger a samus dash attack increased the power of the beginning of the attack so strong dash attack stronger so might kill a little bit better now uh up smash extended launch distance so it's stronger then it's stronger and down smash also stronger and up throw is also stronger so sam is uh sam has got quite a few but yeah that's like uh, the first character with quite a few changes uh and then increased power of mid-air grab so sair is stronger could probably be nice you know push people further away since samus play like a really zone heavy game uh also increased the amount of time hit detection lasts for mid-air grab and increased shield sides all right yeah, yeah that's pretty standard dark samus probably the same type of changes yeah same one for dash attack same one for up smash and down smash and up throw as well and other increased power of mid-air grab so yeah sair stronger as well right arm briefly invincible after activating shield i wonder why samus got dark samus got this change but not samus because i don't think samus had that uh yoshi increased chill size so standard and made the head and both legs briefly invincible after activating shield there so many yeah shields kirby increased shield size fox changed animation when receiving attacks from opponents while shielding so yeah this was uh, one people tweeted about a while ago where basically uh when fox shields and you hit him and he like changed animation like how he was standing so i guess this is just like changed so it's like every other character Pikachu increased shield size. Falcon neutral attack one. So jab one is easier to hit multiple times. I mean, that's fine. Multi hit moves easier to like connect. And increased shield size. Same for Bowser and Ice Climbers. Uh, Sheik, quite a few changes. Uh, down smash, increased attack speed. So it's quicker now. And it's easier to hit multiple times. That's good for Sheik. It's good for Sheik and grab has increased grab range of okay okay so standing grab so I guess dash grab is the same range but uh yeah standing grab increased grab range uh neutral B the needles reduced lag when landing after using the move in the air okay okay so I, I guess like the needles where they are like in the air and combo into bouncing fish that that's not like quicker but if you land with the needles uh side special a uh, little like grenade reduced lag after using the move on the ground and in the air i mean not the craziest chains but you know cheek mains take that and increase the amount of time hit detection lasts for the explosion so yeah easier to hit might be like you know better for like two framing and stuff and the explosion will no longer get ejected or however you pronounce that an uppy extended launch distance for the explosion so it's stronger so on air dodge reads this kills better i guess uh and then increase shield size the standard Zelda quite a few changes f tilt stronger yeah stronger move nair reduced lag when landing after using the move 
and made it easier to hit multiple times. All right, so yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty good, you know, multi-hit moves working more properly and reduced lag. I'm not really sure exactly how much it was before, but that's also like good for the character. Uh, up air, increased attack range. That move is already like actually pretty good. So more range and increased amount of time. Okay, so it's out for longer. It's like a longer lasting move. And then decreased power for the later half of the time, the hit the, like while the move is out. Okay, so hitting with the move early is like more beneficial. Extended launch distance when hit in the high damage range. Uh, okay, okay, so at very high damage, or maybe not very high, but at higher damage, like it scales scales more, so it's like gets even better at higher percentage. Side special increased the high damage range and increased amount of time. Okay, so yeah, out for longer. Down special. Wait, is down special the Phantom? Wait, wait. No, no. Down, no. Down special is like the counter, and side special is the Phantom. I think, right? I never, I never play Zelda. And then, yeah, increased shield size as well. Okay, yeah, down special is fandom. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like neutral B. Neutral B, that is uh, like the reflector. Yeah, I, I I, forgot for a sec. I never play Zelda. I've never liked her in any game. I mean, she's been bad in every game. This is like her best game, but she's still like not amazing by any means. Uh, Dr. Mario... F tilt is stronger. Down tilt increase the amount of time opponents will be in the damage animation, so more hits done. And short and launch distance. I mean, maybe it sets up better for stuff. Maybe Nair increase the power of the attack in the high damage range and extended launch distance when hit in the high damage range. All right, so stronger down air increase the amount of time hit detection last. Maybe easier to get spikes too then. Up the extended launch distance when hit in the high damage range. I mean, Dr. Mario's punishes are not as good as Mario's, so you're probably not going to see these like upper, upper, uppies kill. But, I mean, still take it. Pichu, increased shield size. Falco, increased shield size. There's so many of them. It's like, it's not every character that's gotten them though. It's like a few, like some characters haven't gotten them. Young Link, yeah, uh, Jab 1 is quicker. Up Smash is stronger. Up Air is also stronger. And Forward Throw is also stronger. So, yeah, that's some like good buffs for Young Link. I mean, the character does struggle to kill sometimes. So, that could be good for the character. And then also increased attack speed. Oh, okay, yeah, for like Sair, adjusted launch angle. Okay, so it's a different angle when you hit with the Sair as well. And increased amount of time opponents will be in the damage animation. And then, yeah, the, the classic increased shield size. Same for Ganon. Mewtwo. Changed posture while shielding to reduce lag. Or reduce vern well, okay okay reduce vulnerability to a shield stab okay so he's not as easy to shield poke and then also a bigger shield uh i mean yeah mewtwo is still not good game watch increased shield size same with gate meta knight pit and dark pit zero suit flip kick shorten the time opponents are buried Ooh. i actually hate flip kick i think zero suit is like fine to watch for sure. I think Mars actually can be pretty fun to watch. I hated Zero Suit in Smash 4, but I'm cool with her in this game, besides Flip Kick. That move is a piece of shit, so... I'm not sure how much shorter it's gonna be, though. The move is still gonna be absolutely fantastic. Like, even if you had no berry, the, game, the move is just so good to get out of disadvantage. But it's hard to say how much it hurts without knowing, uh... 
the clear effect of like how much shorter the berry is. And then also the increased chill size, snake shield size, and made the head briefly invincible after activating shield. It seems like the some of like the bigger, heavier characters got that change. Squirtle and Charizard, same thing, shield size. Diddy made the arm briefly invincible. I really wonder how they made like their, you know, decision making with like making some characters' arms briefly invincible. Uh Sonic, DDD, Olimar, Lucario, all increased chill size, tune link, dash attack, reduced lag. Okay, so end lag is not as bad as what it should mean. Down smash is stronger. Backer is quicker. Wait, isn't that move like already relatively quick and very strong? Damn, that sounds like a good buff if you're a Toon Link main. And down air increased the power of the attack in the low damage range and extended launch distance when hit. Okay, okay. So, I mean, it's better once you get the hit, most likely, I would imagine. And then increased amount of time hit detection. Hit detection lasts for Sayer. Yeah, all Sayers seems to be changed. Uh, Wolf, Villager, Weefa Trainer, Rosa, Little Mac, and Greninja. Increased chill size. Me Brawler. Side special 3 made, easier, made it easier to grab opponents. All right. Sword Fighter. Yeah, increased chill size. Palu, Up Tilt. Increased power of the last attack and extended launch distance for the last attack. I mean, that move was never like strong, strong, so I don't really think it's gonna make much of a difference. Like, period. Down smash, extended launch distance when hit. Okay, so down smash is stronger. I mean, that's good for Palu mains. Nair is weaker and reduced the range of the last attack against opponents in the air. But, I mean, the move is weaker, so it's not going to kill as good. So it's not going to be as good for, like, edge guarding. Like, if you have a character like, let's say, uh, Joker, Inkling, like, these type of, like, upbeats, like, Arsene Joker, I'm talking about. So it's not going to kill these characters as early, so it's worse for edge guarding. But, I mean, if the move is weaker, it possibly could combo longer. So it's hard to say how much that will, you know, actually impact the character. And down throw, extended launch distance. So it's stronger, which means it's probably going to be harder to combo from down throw. Mm -hmm. So Palo might have gotten nerfed a bit, but it's hard to say exactly. Uh, and then, yeah, increased shield size. Same thing for Pac-Man and Bowser Jr. Duck count, increased amount of time opponents will be in the damage animation from flurry attack. And then, yeah, increased shield size. Damn, it's actually a lot of, like, notes this time around. Uh, Ryu, down tilt, adjusted launch angle. Okay. They don't even say what, what they exactly mean by adjusted. Down smash, now possible on hit to cancel the attack animation into a special move. I mean, that sounds good. And reduce the power against the shields. Isn't it already scary to shield against the Shodos? Neutral special, increased opponent's downtime when shielding against Hadoken. Made it easier to hit multiple times. I mean, yeah, seems good for Shodo so far. And side special, made a pivoting leg invincible while rotating when used on the ground. Also sounds good for Chodos, and stronger and extended launch distance when hit in the high damage range and increased shield size. Yeah, it seems, sounds good for Ryu. I imagine that like, Ken is going to be all the same changes. Yeah, adjusted launch angle. Yeah. It seems to be the same. Wait. Seismic made it easier to hit multiple times. That wasn't mentioned on Ryu. But maybe it already was easier? 
at cloud dash attack so dash attack is stronger kills a bit better uh, f smash easier to hit multiple times so yeah less of a risk to only get like one or two hits and not like the full thing up smash stronger with a tipper and quicker as well overall so yeah stronger when, when you get a tipper and it's uh, quicker overall uh up b increase the speed of the edge grab timing so it's gonna be harder to like two frame cloud i mean that is like not having a busted ass recovery in ultimate not having that is like a huge downside since I, almost everyone does so i mean that's good for cloud i personally think it's boring that characters do have so good recovery but that's just my take on it uh and i know people say oh but you play inkling i i wish inkling also had worse recovery uh wait so and down b increase the speed at which oh okay okay so limits is easier to get access to now yeah cloud seems to be maybe the most buffed character so far yeah it's probably cloud Shodos is a bit harder for me to judge since I never played them. Uh, yeah, and then also increased shield size. Same for Corin and Bayo. Ridley made one part of the wing briefly invincible after activating or deactivating shield. And Shane's posture while shielding to reduce vulnerability to a shield stab. I mean, not amazing, but Ridley got something, I guess. K roll adjusted the shield's center and center of the posture during shielding to match and increase shield size. Nothing special. Uh, Incineroar, side B, extended launch distance when opponents that are not grabbed with a spy side special are caught up in the lariat or back body drop. I mean, something. Incineroar is still gonna be bad. Uh, Prana Plant made the lips briefly invincible after deactivating shield. So Prana Plant, nothing. Special Joker neutral B reduced the range when shooting downward in the air. Oh yeah, yeah. So down gun is worse now. Yeah, the down gun is actually like really good to get out of disadvantage. It's very hard to challenge it. You have to like challenge it from the side, which is not easy by any means. And then Joker, reduced amount of time Arson is summoned for when receiving damage. While Arson is summoned, it battles with two or fewer opponents. Okay, so yeah, Joker actually did get... Joker actually did get a little bit of nerfs. So yeah, harder to get out of disadvantage. Probably still good. And then, yeah, Arson. Slight change too. Uh, based on what it sounds like. But yeah, o overall it seems like winners is Cloud and Shodos. And people or a character is losing is, uh, I guess, Joker and uh, Joker, Zero Suit, and Palu is like the three potential characters that lost on this patch. Also, Samus, Samus and Dark Samus uh, on the winner side too. I forgot that. I forgot. Uh, so yeah, that's what it seems like. So this also like further makes me believe that they really watch how tournaments the tournament scene is going. Because Joker, you have Leo that is literally winning like most tournaments. Mars is up there as well. And Zero Suit is performing very good in Japan. And then Palo is like one of the most complained about characters at the moment. Oh, Young Link also on the winner side. It was a few more winners. Yeah, Dr. Mario 2. Yeah, I, I forgot a few. I, I gotta blame that uh, we've streamed like eight and a half hours. <laughs> no Johns, I know, but... But yeah. Yeah, it really seems like they're looking at tournament results. Only way to explain like the, the, the patch's consistency in uh, nerfing slash buffing characters. They're like common or not common. For high level play. Yeah, Cheek Cheek also also better. As I said, I forgot a few on the winner's side. It was quite a few of them.